Can you relate to this mom? She says, my son is six. I've been to the pediatricians, the therapists, psychologists. Schools have no idea how to help us. He's okay at home, but it's been a living hell. Gosh, I gotta say, I know exactly how you feel because when my youngest son was six, I was experiencing the exact same thing and I had three older children, nine, 11 and 12. And they were all being diagnosed with different mental health issues and hated me. Uh, my house was a living hell, so I totally know what you're talking about. I, at the time, was a personal development leader. I had a team of over 10,000 people. I spoke internationally, teaching people, you are the one and only magical you to exist. You were born perfect, but often through our lifetimes from the people who love us the most, our parents, our school teachers, the churches, condition us to believe certain things and condition us a lot of the times into mediocrity. So when I was 21 years old, I read a book called Think and Grow Rich. And that was in 1994. And it instilled a dream inside my soul that I was going to find a way to empower all of the kids by the age of 12. I just thought if I knew what was in the book by the age of 12, that I could set goals, that I didn't need a specific education, that I could create plans, that I could persevere through obstacles to achieve whatever it is my little heart desired, I probably wouldn't have made all the horrific mistakes that I made throughout my teenage life and my early adult life as well. Uh, because of course I read that book at 21, but it took years and years of personal development to overcome my own unworthiness and shortcomings. But needless to say, 18 years after that dream and reading all sorts of parenting books, Magic One, Two, Three, Kids Are Worth It, um, Super Nanny, you know, all the books that are created after Dr. Spock's Baby and Child Care. Before 1946, if a kid got out of line, they were just taken behind the barn and beat with switches, right? We used to spank our kids into submissions. So then we had a whole generation grow up in fear-based mentality. And you know them, they're your grandparents, they're maybe your great grandparents, could possibly even be your parents. But in 1946, Dr. Spock came out with baby and child care and he wrote almost 900 pages of how to control and manage child behavior from timeouts to takeaways to redirecting to, I guess the first edition said to put a badminton net over the crib so your baby couldn't crawl out of the crib. Whatever we could do to bubble wrap kids instead of teaching them about electricity, let's bubble wrap the electricity and keep them away from it until we're not around and then they can electrocute themselves. You can see where I'm going with this. Anyway, um, I was reading books like this and ended up in actual parenting hell. Throughout my journey of being a personal development teacher, I studied books like this. This is just some of the books, not all of the books, obviously, but I want to start by saying the, the Bible has all of the personal development pathways and formulas that we'd ever need. If you have a great understanding of that. Beyond that, we have principles by Ray Dalio. You can see it's well read. You have, um, the 48 laws of power. These are all principles on how to succeed in life. You've got the laws of success by Napoleon Hill, 15 master principles that if you learn them and study them, you will create success in your life. Think and grow rich. I read in 1994 that started me on the journey of personal development. When I say personal development, I mean development from the inside out, not managing behavior from the outside in because any of us could take medication or think something's wrong with us. I honestly think that's the easy way out. But if we want to transform our lives, we've got to learn ourselves. We have to do our own due diligence. We have to read the good books and, and implement principles in our lives. We need to learn the rules of the game of life because so many of us are living in hell completely unnecessarily. If you learn to have a different approach, a new approach with your children that you can empower them, everything would change. We've got 177 mental toughness secrets of the world class. We've got the voice of knowledge. If you ever want to know the real cause of oppositional defiant disorder, read the voice of knowledge. It's all in there. Uh, we've got the Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, which is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People also. But I want to read this out of the Laws of Success. Now, I mean, I read this book 
many years ago and I never really caught this until later on in my life. He's talking about the struggles, the adversities that today's generation would call trauma. He calls struggles. And here's Napoleon Hill, the philosopher of success, didn't even own a pair of shoes till he was 12 years old. He says, far from being a disadvantage, struggle is a decided advantage because it develops those qualities that would forever lie dormant without it. Many a man has found his place in the world because of having been forced to struggle for existence early in life. Lack of knowledge of the advantages accruing from struggle has prompted many a parent to say, I had to work hard when I was young, but I shall see to it that my children have an easy time. Poor foolish creatures. An easy time usually turns out to be a greater handicap than the average young man or woman can even survive. Our youth are dying by drug overdose, fentanyl. They're dying by suicide at extra extraordinary rates around the globe so whoever made this post I can't see your name there it's not just you it's it's the masses of the people so when I met my husband in 2011 he was a fourth degree black belt in martial arts he had a award-winning after-school program called creating champions for life where he had set up an environment in his school where his kids his white belts up to black belts could earn time in their what they called a playroom that had $25,000 worth of games and toys and um, electrical games and all sorts of things that was a privilege to play in. Uh, but he also set up snacks, bare minimum average outstanding snacks. He set up an environment that gave his students motivation to cooperate with him. And he was literally able to transform all these other kids who were get, getting kicked out of daycares, who society had given up on, kids like this six-year-old here. And he was able to transform their behavior in his martial arts classroom. So when I met him in later on in 2011, I saw him with my kids and incorporate the exact same strategies he used in his classroom, my kids all transformed. And after six months and hundreds of sticky notes, I'm like, you have a brand new parenting philosophy here. So we took my 30 years of personal development, his 30 plus years working with thousands of kids. He coached 140,000 kids through gaming uh, at Nintendo, by the way. Learned how to work with disgruntled, disgruntled, angry teenagers to calm them down and take them to success. But we took all of those principles and we put it into a book called Learn to Speak Kid. And in the book, we've got like literally hundreds of pictures of families that are already incorporating our principles and making the transformation. If you've been praying for an answer out there for your kid who has oppositional defiant disorder, ADHD, conduct disorder, DMDD, some other label, mood, or behavior disorder, there's a cause behind it and there is an absolute definite solution that you're only going to find here. From our last 13 years of doing this work and doing due diligence going to webinars, going to workshops for parenting. Every single parenting out there that we can find is based on authoritative parenting. Dr. Spock's baby and child care book. Call it attachment, balance, gentle, whatever. It's all based on authoritative parenting. If you want something new, we've got to think and do something differently. See our profile, click the link there, come join our community, learn all you can about creating champions for life and guiding behavior versus punishment. I'm Bonnie Leota. And until we meet again, here's to your parenting success.